I'm Meg, and I want to talk about a common misconception that in Spain, people only speak Spanish. In reality, there's also Gallego, Catalan, Euskera, Valenciano, and many more. In this video, we're going to get into those details. So recently, in a video, I did a survey for Americans asking what they thought about Spain and some factual questions. And one of the questions was, how many official languages does Spain have? Which is a trickier question than I thought at first. So across the whole country, according to the Constitution of 1978, there's one official language, which is Castellano, so Castilian, which we generally call Spanish. But in autonomous communities, a number of them also have co-official languages. In Catalonia, the co-official languages are Catalan and Aranés. In the Islas Baleares, Mallorca, Menorca, Ibiza, there's Catalan. In Valencia, there's Valenciano, which recently is considered a variant of Catalan, even though previously it was actually considered its own language. In Galicia, there's Gallego, in El País Vasco, Euskera, and in Navarra, also Euskera. Euskera is an especially interesting language because it predates Latin. So you might think all of these languages in Spain derive from Spanish, which originally derives from Latin. Not the case. Euskera sounds nothing like Spanish, nothing like Latin, nothing like the Romance languages in general, because it's not. Now, is it true that if you go to Spain and you speak Spanish, you'll be able to communicate with almost everyone? Yes. According to the Instituto Nacional de Estadística, so the National Institute of Statistics, from a 2016 survey, 98.9, so essentially 99% of the population speaks Castellano. Again, Castellano comes from the word Castilian, Castilian coming from the kingdom of Castilla, so back in the day when Spain was divided into different kingdoms. So back to the survey. 99% of the population speaks Castellano, Spanish. 17.5% of the population speaks Catalan, 6.2% Gallego from Galicia, in English you call it Galician, 6% uh, Valenciano, again Valenciano very related to Catalan, and 3% speaks Euskera, again most predominantly in País Vasco and Navarra. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what these languages sound like. So like I mentioned, Euskera sounds nothing like Spanish. Well, let me give you an example here. So we know that hello in Spanish in Castellano is hola, super basic. Well, in Gallego, from Galicia, it's also hola. I think that's how they would pronounce it. H-O-L-A, anyway. In Catalan, very similar, hola. Now, in Euskera, it is caixo, right? <laughs> to check this, I went to forvo.com. It's a neat website where people will record different words in their native language so that you can get an idea of the pronunciation. Caixo. Caixo. Nothing like hola, right? All right, for a more complicated phrase, I chose, I can't tell you, because can, at least in Spanish, is irregular, so it's a little bit interesting. So, in Spanish, it would be, no te puedo decir. Now, in Gallego, from Galicia, it would be, non te puedo decir. I'm not exactly sure they pronounce it in that way, because I couldn't find it on Forvo, but you can see the words look very similar. I can't tell you in euskera, es en disutesan. In Catalan, again from Catalonia, you're looking at, no et puc di. There are also languages spoken in certain autonomous communities that are not considered co-official in those autonomous communities, such as Aragonés, originally from the Kingdom of Aragon, and Asturleonés, also called Asturiano or Bable. So there's an even greater linguistic variety than just what the co-official languages would indicate. With this video, I really just wanted to make you guys aware that in Spain, they don't just speak Spanish or Castellano. There are other co-official languages. There are certain Spaniards who don't speak Castellano at all maybe only 1% of the population. There are many Spaniards who don't consider Castellano to be their primary language, who don't speak it at home. And I just wanted to make you guys aware of that so you better understand the linguistic diversity of Spain. As always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. It helps it reach more people. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.